Are we ready to be ready? I think so. Are we ready? Are we ready to confetti? Hello, Toy Room friends. I'm really excited about this baby today because I've got her a while back ago and I've been wanting to play with her, but we haven't gotten around to making a video. So here we go. Now, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I love these Baby Alive babies and there are a ton of them that I love. I got my granddaughter, Amelia. I call her Amelia Bedelia or Amelia Bug. I got her one for her birthday a couple years ago. And it was so cute. But the reason why I couldn't pass up this little girl is because she has dinosaur jammies on. And anyone who knows me knows I love dinosaurs. When it all came down to the wire, I picked this one who is actually a My Medicine baby. She's going to pee, I think. Tell me she's not so cute. And when I get her out, we're gonna see even more cute things because she's even got little dinosaurs on her nosies. So there's some powdered doll medicine in here. Oh, there's two different kinds. Doesn't really say what they're for. So I don't know. I don't know what she has. Maybe she's just got a cold. So we're gonna open her up now and see exactly what all's in here. I don't even know where to begin to open this baby because she's got a ton of things tying her in here. They did not want anyone to steal her. They did not. Oh gosh, she's so cute. She is so cute. We have to make sure she doesn't have a fever because she's sick. Hopefully she won't be sick all the time. <gasps> she's so cute. She's got bendable legs. I'm not gonna go and take her whole onesie off and show you all of that, but she's got bendable legs for sure. So she'll be able to sit down on the couch with all of her brothers and sisters in my other toy room. You can cut this off so that the blankie comes off, but I think that I'm actually gonna keep it on my baby because otherwise it might get lost. So I'm just gonna keep it tied to her hand, but you can see there's a little plastic thing on there and you can just snip that just like you snipped around the box. She's got little dinosaurs. And on her little piggy, she's got dinosaurs. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. So I have to think of names I name all my babies. And I'm not real sure yet, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm gonna name her Pip. I think she looks like a Pip. Don't you think so? That's a cute name. So here's her cutie thermometer. So let's look real closely, are you ready? So now you can see right here, that when I took her temperature, it told me that she needs to have the orange medicine. So it lets you know which medicine you need to give her. Oh, it says that she could, she just needs to drink because she needs to be hydrated or she needs a band-aid because she's got a boo, boo or there's an orange medicine again, or she just needs love. Well, I will give you plenty of love, Pip. You better believe it. I'm assuming this is gonna be where we're gonna mix her medicine because it's got the medicine sign on it right there. It's a little bitty baby diaper. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't, I can't even stand it right now. It's so cute. It legit is a little baby diaper. So you can see it's a real diaper and we will check that out in a minute because I think we're gonna probably have to test it out now, aren't we? We're gonna have to find out what happens with that diaper. Okay, so pink medicine. This is your heart medicine. Oh, I guess they both are. So here's the pink and here's the orange. I'm hoping that inside this um, instruction pack it will explain what the difference is. We'll find out. She's got some band-aids and some stickers so I'm assuming maybe these stickers are that when she's really good and she takes her medicine really really well and she doesn't get really upset or argue or anything that she gets a sticker for her hand or her forehead or her shirt. My goodness gracious you know what I read all of that to you and it was right here in my front of my face without any reading at all. Okay step one as you can see you're going to pour the medicine into the sippy cup with the dropper. So then it's telling you that there's a line right here and that's how much water you put into it, okay? Then step three is after the water's in there and, and you put this in the package, then you use your dropper and you feed the baby 
medicine. So I think we're gonna have to undress Pip first and put her diaper on, okay? So, in case you've never changed a diaper before, you always just put the baby in the diaper, make sure it's high up on their back right there because you don't want them to go potty outside of their diaper because that happens a lot. Babies do that often. You have to put it, the diaper, between her legs and it's best to put her legs up in the air, otherwise it's too tight of a fit. Then once you get it to right where you want it, you can put her legs down. If that makes life easier for you, it probably will. So then you just take your diaper and you push it on the side and you have this little tab and you want to make sure the diaper's not going to fall off the baby. So I usually go straight for the middle so it's nice and tight because otherwise, like I said, babies do. They go, they, they go to the bathroom outside their diaper sometimes. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Little Pip, you got your diaper on now. Oh, she's the cutest. I love this little diaper. I'm so sad that it's gonna it's gonna get wet and I'm gonna have to replace it. Gonna have to buy more diapers for Pip. But look at her cute little piggy toes. They're so adorable. I love baby feet. And she's got cute little hands, these great big eyes, and she was wearing a bun, a side bun. Already taking after me. So I think for today, because I'm wearing pink. I'm gonna pick the pink medicine, okay? I don't know because it doesn't really say if I should put all of the medicine in there or not. But because we're doing a show, a toy room episode today, I'm gonna do all of it. Inside, if you can see, it's just powder. It's just like almost like bath crystals except for a little bit um, smaller grain. And I'm going to take it and we're gonna pour it into her little medicine bin so you can see them go in there. So you see they just pour in like that. So here we go again. And like I said, there's a little line right here on the side. You can't miss it. And that's how, that's how tall they want you to fill it up. Pour it in. Oh, there we go. It's pink already. La -da -da. So the next step it says is to twist this on. I think it just pops in. You don't even have to twist it or anything. It just pops in. Okay, so then you're gonna take your dropper and you're just gonna, it says to swivel it from side to side to mix it all up. Ooh, Pip, you're gonna be feeling better soon, baby. All right, so I think we pretty much, it looks pretty good. Looks like most of those crystals have dissolved. Okay, I'm gonna hold you like this because we gotta do your medicine. And it's gonna taste yummy, okay? Just a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down <laughs> in the most delightful way. You squeeze the dropper and then when you do that, either it pushes it out, see? Or it sucks it in. So we suck it in and then we feed little Miss Pip here. And oh, first feeding. You'll be able to actually see it go down. So that part's good because otherwise you don't, you know, sometimes babies, they cough medicine back up. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit more. Hopefully it tastes yummy. This one's pink. Maybe it tastes like strawberries. You don't know. Maybe it tastes like watermelon. Maybe it tastes like bubble gum. Maybe it tastes like pink lemonade. Maybe it tastes like a Starburst. Let's see, I, there's just a little bit left, so I think we'll just, we'll leave it at that. Oh, that's actually the last one. So you got a little bit more in here. Let's give you just a little bit more. So. How we feeling, Pip? Oh, goodness gracious. Let me tell you guys. This little girl has, look at her diaper. She has, she has peed that diaper till, I mean, this diaper, this diaper has seen its day. It, you can never use this diaper again. I think before she goes night night, she's definitely going to have to take this diaper off and be changed. Now, what I need you to know 
is that you only get one diaper with this baby and you can't order other diapers online or you can go to the stores and they sell them there. So if this, is not, this is not a one-time deal for this baby. If you want to keep giving her her medicine, you have to continue to buy the medicine and continue to buy the diapers. So it, that's an added expense and that's something to keep in mind. If you don't want to continue to feed the baby um, her medicine because she gets well, I hope, my goodness gracious, I hope she's not sick forever, um, then you don't have to buy more diapers unless you want to. I personally think they're really cute, so I'm gonna buy her a couple more diapers. Because she did such a good job, I'm gonna let her pick a sticker because she gets picker, stickers to pick. So I'm gonna let her pick a sticker. Which one do you think you like? What one do you think you like? I agree with you. You were such a star today. So, yes, Pip, I'm going to give you a star on your forehead. How about right there? Oh, yeah, wear it proud because you did so good today. If she ever has a boo-boo, you can put a band-aid on her. But she has no boo-boos because we are safe in this house. So no boo-boos, no, no um, band-aids for you today, okay? Just your star. All right, so here we go. I'm taking her diaper off now. Taking her diaper off. And looky there, she peed out all of that medicine already really quickly, but we hydrated her, so that's good because that's what you wanna see when you're sick. When you have dry diapers, that's when it's not good. So wet diapers, you have to count them when babies are sick. So we know she's starting to feel better. Now we're gonna get her dressed because she got go night night. Okay, so let's see if it's as easy to put on as it was to take off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Her little feet just flip right in there and her little arm just goes right in there and I even kept her blankie on so easy as pie. Now because Pip is taking her medicine she's going to be really sleepy really fast. So we're going to take her to the toy room and this is going to be where she's going to hang out with all her brothers and sisters and feel better tonight. I'm still working on it, but it's just got some of my babies sitting on the bed. So come on, let's go look. Come with me. All right, into the toy room we go. So this is my toys. You can see some of the ones from our show before. There is the Shopkins, and here's my Welly Wisher doll, Willa, who I love, and I know that she's gonna really help me take care of Pip. And as you remember, there's the Ken Barista Barbie, and here's my hedgehog uh, tumbleweed and my hamster acorn so then if you come on over here you'll remember me <laughs> you'll remember meeting Romina in one of our episodes and you've also met Gussie and Billion and, and John Ballard and Donna Noria and Ingrid Rita you've met all of them so they're all gonna be here to help take care of her while she's not feeling well I'm not really sure who's most responsible. It's usually Gussie, but she's already taking care of Romina. So I think today, you know what? John Ballard's very responsible. So John Ballard, I'm gonna let you take care of Miss Pip here, and she can just lay with you. And I'll show you real quickly before we go. This was my kitty cat, Meow. I was very original when I was a child. <laughs> that I loved, if you can't tell. I used to carry Meow like this, so now Meow, Meow's neck doesn't work anymore. But you want to talk about how loved somebody was. He was the most loved kitty cat in the world, and someone made him for me. He wasn't even a store-bought toy. So that's how much toys can be special, special memories, and they're just wonderful things to have. And I still love them myself, so I still collect them. We are now done with another episode, this time Baby Alive. Super fun, she's my very first Baby Alive. Like I said, I've only bought one other one and that was for my granddaughter, Amelia Bug, and hers was super cute too. Hers was the birthday party one with the cake. Baby Alive, you can find them everywhere. So, I don't even need to tell you. I'm sure that they're at every big major box store, Walmart, Target, I got mine on Amazon again because it's coronavirus right now, so I'm not going out shopping. So, my baby alive, Pip, she was $19.99 on Amazon, but I think that she's probably cheaper somewhere else. I don't know, I can't get out to do my research. We had great fun today, toy room friends. So, toodaloos! <laughs> A paper reel. <laughs>
We got one more. She's like, Mommy, Mommy, I want to come out. I want to come out. With me. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> I just want to play with it. It's taking too long. So, oh, so much reading. Mild dish soap and water. They are not dishwater safe. For dishwasher safe. Let's read that one again, Jelly. It's not a sippy cup. It's a mixing bowl. <laughs> and then you're going to take your um, what are these called? What are they called? The wrong oh, yes. <laughs> we'll go back to the other toy room where we film and I will say goodbye. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> right now. So mine, um, <laughs> so when you, do, when we all back, <laughs> when we are, man. <laughs> What is wrong with me today? My tongue's like doing some weird like. <laughs> All right, toodaloos, toy loom. <coughs> toodaloos, toy loom front. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had great front.